The model of this part consists of an extrusion, fillets, and chamfers. The extrusion is a sketched fixture, and the extrusion is based on a simple 2D sketch. The sketch consists of a profile and two circles. In this particular sketch, no dimensions are applied. Let's look at how we can create a sketch and apply both geometric and dimensional constraints. Start by creating a new part file. Then use the draw tools. These consist of line, rectangle, circle, arc, and there are many more. We'll start with the line command. Place the first point at 0, 0, and just drag out to the right. We're not going to input the value, but instead just sketch the profile to the approximate size. Notice that geometric constraints are being applied. In this case, parallel and tangent. And again, we see the tangent constraint being applied. Now the circle command will be used. Two circles will be placed, and again, the size isn't critical at this point. Having created the sketch, geometric constraints can be applied. There are 12 geometric constraints. We're going to start by applying an equals constraint. The equals constraint will be applied to the two circles, so they will always be the same size. And to ensure that the alignment of the circles is correct, a horizontal constraint will be applied to the center points of the circles. No dimensions will be applied. Notice in the bottom right corner, three dimensions are required or needed to fully constrain the sketch. Place the dimension, and the overall length is 1.5. The radius of the arc, and that radius is 0 0.25. Now only one dimension is needed to fully constrain the sketch, and that's the diameter of the circle. But instead of putting a value in, we'll tie together these two values, so the parameter d1 for the radius of the arc will be used. Now the sketch is fully constrained. Since the sketch is fully constrained, you cannot drag the profile to a new location. Now let's change one of the dimensions. In this case, Double click on the dimension and change it to 1.75 and the sketch will update. Changing the 0.25 dimension to 0 0.3125 changes the radius of the arc but it also changes the diameter of the circle because they are tied together with the same parameter. This profile would then be used to start to create the link. It would be the extruded feature.